Hey there! Today, I have a free alternative to sculpting in Blender. Before we dive into it, be sure to subscribe. So what we have here is called Sculpt GL by this person. I won't even try to pronounce their name. And how I typically find it is I just type in Sculpt GL in Google. First result takes me here. So this is, I believe, free and open source. So all the sources are available on GitHub. But if I actually go into the sculpting itself, this pulls up sculpting software. And it is super powerful. I was really kind of blown away by it, um, just how good it is. And it's all done in the browser. So what you see on the screen behind me is a time lapse of a sculpt that I did in Sculpt GL. You know that I've done a Blender Sucks at Sculpting video. You can watch that above. But this software has all the tools that I could possibly need to do the sculpting. Granted, it is a bit limited on how many brushes there are, but it has all the basic brushes. Some of the brushes that are available in Sculpt GL are the Inflate Brush, Twist, smooth, flatten, pinch, the move brushes, you're, you have the ability to mask. You can also add different geometry. So if you wanted to add two new spheres for eyeballs, you can do that. There's a couple different materials and matte caps that you can use. You can import and export, no problem. You can export as, or save this as a Sculpt GL file or OBJ, STL. You can import the same kind of things. It has subdivision levels, just like you would expect. You can also Kind of like a Z remesher, it's called a voxel remesh. Uh, to retopologize in the sense where things are getting stretched, you hit voxel remesh and then kind of like Dynamesh, you're, you're back in business. One of the downside, obviously, part of my screen, if you can see on the left, there are ads that pop up on the screen. Other downside, I don't think this is supported anymore, meaning I don't think there will be any future development. So for what it is, SculptGL is fantastic. I don't think there's any reason why you shouldn't go out, check it out, do some sculpting. Whether you've never sculpted or you're a ZBrush Pro, go ahead, try it out. I think it is a fantastic alternative to sculpting in Blender. It's free, it's fun to use, it's easy to use, and the performance is absolutely wonderful. I really can't find much wrong with this software. Well, thanks for sticking around and watching. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe. I will see you next time.